All right, so we're going to take a look at allapp.com, and this is a web-based whiteboard app. So you will have to use Safari in order to access allapp.com. When you first get there, it's going to give you this welcome screen. You can either click the Start Drawing button, or if you want to look into the premium version, you can try that for free for a short period of time. Um, and then if you would like to present that to your administration or technology department to purchase for your class and your students, uh, you could do that as well. Okay, so when you're using the All app, you can just click the Start Drawing. And if you click on the palette over here, it just gives you different colors for the pen. If you click right here, it gives you the different sizes of the pen stroke. If you would like to erase or cut out a certain spot, or you can add text. So if you want to add text here, it's very simple. If you would like to add a photo, you click that button right there. You can add a photo from your iPad. So you just say photo library. You would find the photo that you wanted. So this is the exact same one that we used in the other apps and I'm now tilting it and I'm moving it so if I would like to move this in whatever area I want I hit the check mark when I'm satisfied with that and it adds it that photo right there to this all app interactive whiteboard you can click the hand tool to move things around in the different part of the screen maybe you're adding something let's see let's go to the pen so maybe you're coloring in this diagram of a volcano. If you're ready to save this or if you want to screenshot this, you can just hit the, the home button with the power button at the same time. And that will take a screenshot if you'd like to submit things that way. Now the All app has different collaborative features. If you'd like to share this board with someone, uh, you'd click this plus button in the bottom left hand corner and you'd click share this board or download this image or share this image. If you click this button, this is the login features. If you'd like to create your new account, you hit the plus button that says create new account at the bottom. This is one of the most simple interactive whiteboards to use, and it's great because it can be used on a desktop, an iPad, a laptop, whatever device you're using, even a mobile device like a cell phone. So I'm going to go ahead and have you guys create your new account if you're going to use this in the classroom. And when you sign up, you get 30 days free premium. So that gives you an idea about what the premium features are used for. And you can see over here on the right hand side, you can put multiple pages on the board. You can create a premium board with a unique URL. You can import presentations like PDFs and PowerPoints. You can export your images to a PDF and have 10 saved boards. And then also it gives you advanced tools. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up. I'm going to ask that you guys sign up too. And we'll talk a little bit more about the All app. Now that you have signed up for the All app, it will give you this welcome screen telling you that your trial period expires in 30 days. You can share this board, download this image, and pretty much do every single thing that you could do at the beginning of it. So if you want to share this board with your students or you want to share it with someone else, I'm going to click share this board. And it gives you a shareable link or an embedded link if you want to add this to like a website or something like that or something HTML5. You can either click allow everyone to draw share a copy for each user, or just allow everyone to view. Another cool feature is if you'd like to have some quick chat about this image or about a diagram that's being created, that's available in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So those are all options when you're sharing this board. So as a teacher, you also have the opportunity to invite new users and manage the different participants in this online tool. So you would invite new users like your students by creating that shareable link. Back to the collaborative tool, you can export it to a PDF or download this image. It's completely up to you. Now let's click on this pro button right here. This allows you to save those boards. So when you save those boards, you then are able to access them and view them in the repository. You'd be able to see all of your saved boards in this area right here. So it opens it up in a new tab. So that is the basic function of the All app. It's very simple, very easy to use. There are all kinds of collaborative features that you can explore on your own. I'd say that this is one of the most simple interactive whiteboards to use along with Show Me and then EduCreations. But like all apps and web-based tools, they can be limited until you have the paid version. So you're going to have to work around 
those limitations, use those apps as needed. All right, so I hope that you've learned something about all three interactive whiteboards that we have talked about. First, we talked about EduCreations. Then we moved on to Show Me. Then the online interactive whiteboard, All App. They all have different features, but they are very similar in the way that they are used in the classroom. I hope that you utilize these to give students the opportunity to share what they know and what they're understanding in their own learning process. As always, feel free to contact me at Corey at classroomtechmadesimple.com. We'll see you next video.